wear Cinderella t-shirt. He's conscious enough he could see it. Can he see it? <laughs> Just, <laughs> like that. Just like this. Today, we are... It's gonna be the day that I'm gonna bring it back to you. Right, right now, you should have somehow realised what you got to do. I don't believe that anybody could feel the way I do about you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Top 10 things to do in Walt Disney World! <sighs> Last time we did a top 10 things of what not to do at Disney and now we're going to do a video of the top 10 things to do at Disney. We have our trusty notebook here. So, the first tip, number one. Number one. Is if you would like to pin trade at Disney World, I would suggest two things. One, Buy pins from a Disney outlet more. You can get, I think I got, I think it was a pack of seven, eight pins from the outlet mall. Ah, uh, yes, okay, yeah. sorry. You get them outlet mall, and I think it was like $10 for eight pins, which is obviously really good considering they're like $10 each in that for park. So I bought those from there to then specifically trade. I don't want to keep any of them. The second thing you can do for pin trading is something which is slightly frowned upon, but I did buy pins from eBay <gasps> to, tra <laughs> to trade in the parks, but may I just say, I bought <laughs> <laughs> did check the reviews of the eBay seller and they were genuine, five stars everywhere, everyone had said how they were, they, re they were real pins, they weren't fake ones, and when obviously I got them all, I checked them all to make sure they were genuine, and I mean, it was fine. And so like I said, just do make sure you do your research first, don't buy pins on eBay from any odd seller because you might end up with fake pins. Just do make sure you do the right thing, but you will send, save a lot of money by doing the eBay and the outlet more thing because the pins are expensive. And this is coming from Caroline, who before we went went, I don't think I'm going to pin trade. I'm not going to pin trade. I'm just not. I just don't feel like it. I'm just <laughs> not going to do it. And she got there. And obsessed with it. Oof. Anyway, next tip. Number two. This is something we did before we even entered the realms of Disney. Yes. And this was in the airport. And it was buying a perfume. Buy a perfume in duty free before you get on the plane. Before you get on the plane. And this is incredible. We obviously we've got loads left because we did we obviously used it whilst we were in Disney. Mmm it smells so good and it it really just brings back the memories. So basically what you do is you buy a perfume you, that you like, don't get suckered into the salespeople in duty free as we nearly did, mm -hmm. buy a perfume you like and then wear it every single day when you're at Disney and spray it around your room maybe and then when you come home you will smell the perfume and it reminds you of being back at Disney. What one did you get? I got Marc Jacobs Daisy and you got sausage. I got Dior sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, not really sausage. Basically, and obviously when Sean wears his one and when I wear my one, we're both like, oh, Disney! The, the awkward thing happens though is when, uh, for my one, <laughs> there was a man on the underground <laughs> wearing it the other day and I was like, ah. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Next time we go back, do we bring a new perfume or do we bring this one? Ooh. Number three. Do a tour. Like I mentioned previously, we did the Keys to the Kingdom tour. It's not cheap, we had to phone up in advance to book it, but it was worth it. Amazing. If you're an adult, it was worth it. They don't recommend doing it for young children because it does sometimes take the magic away. You go backstage. You go backstage. And it's just really, it's really interesting, we really enjoyed it. There are other tours you can do. I know there's a Living with the Lands tour in yep. Epcot. There's other various ones as well that I can't think of, but there are a lot. The Keys to the Kingdom one I think is one of the most expensive ones. There's an Animal Kingdom tour which is very expensive as well. I think, it's a, isn't there a costume tour? No idea. Who knows? No idea. But we recommend doing a tour, even if it's like a cheap one or a more expensive one, whichever is in your budget, just to see a bit more about Disney. Because obviously you go to Disney and you do the Disney experience, if you do a tour you're sort of doing a museum experience. Yeah. So a bit more of a cultured for Disney, shall we say. Yeah. Tip number four. Tip number four. Buy Disney clothes <laughs> and wear them like no one's watching because it's great. Characters love them, especially if you go and see characters with 
we, them on their t-shirts. We planned the outfits we wore for the character we were meeting that day. Yes. E.g. our ARC t-shirts. Obviously we were going to wear them when we met Russell and Doug. Doug. They, the characters go berserk when they say, I think I have, I've got a pair of Donald Duck vans. Yeah. And when Donald Duck found out that he was on my feet... It, he was it, very happy. It was, it's, just, it's great because it's rather than just going up and being like... Hi, yeah. It's, it's, you, it's a way of breaking the ice with the characters. And it's worthwhile getting something related to the character you're going to see that day if you really like the character. Yeah. Like when you saw uh, Buzz and Woody, he was wearing his... Alien I've been chosen, yeah. yeah. And it's just like really good. And then obviously Sean, just another thing, Sean was wearing the Uniqlo Mine 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 t-shirt. We went to see the Monsters Inc. Laugh Law and he was selected. He, he, just, he was selected because of the t-shirt he was wearing. It's just, it's just a really good idea. We do recommend it. Obviously some people don't want to wear Disney themed clothes in Disney because they want to just wear when they like them on holiday. That's fair enough. But for us, we enjoy wearing Disney clothes because we like the interactions. Yeah. Yeah. A tip number five. Five, that's a lucky mouse. Tip number five. <laughs> five. <laughs> um, bring blister plasters. Even if you think my shoes are so comfortable, I won't need them. Mr. Sean over here with his stupid Teavers that he wears all the time needed to wear plasters. Teavers are great. Teavers are waterproof. Teavers are great. Teavers are waterproof. <laughs> However, I was wearing them for like 13 hour days. No matter how nice you think your shoes are when you wear them, they will turn evil. Blister plasters are better, obviously they are a fake skin, so don't just think normal plasters will do the job. Bring blister plasters with you, they don't cost much money, just in case. There's no harm in bringing them, spending a couple of quid on blister plasters just, just won't hurt. Have you. them in your backpack and it doesn't matter. And then um, the other thing, another addition is also doesn't matter who you are, but I would recommend bringing a face mask. I didn't bring one with me, I don't think. I think I bought one from Sephora yeah. um, whilst we were there. But I would suggest bringing in like a packet face mask that you can just put on your face and chuck in the packet in the bin. Just because when you're walking around, obviously, all day, every day, your skin can get dry, you can be a bit... Ugh. I mean, I, I found that. He wears face masks as well. I don't know why he's pretending to be like some sort of macho man. <laughs> But yeah, so I would just recommend bringing a face mask just because it's quite nice to sort of pamper yourself whilst you're on holiday because you are on holiday. Relax. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Tip number six! Disney Vacation Club. Hmm. We saw this dotted around when we were in the parks and we were a bit like... Oh. Avoid him, avoid him. Yeah, we're going to talk, we're going to talk. Until we found out what they offer. Well, first of all, we were sucking him because the guy was wearing pins. Yeah. And then he started speaking to us. And then he was a nice guy. Yeah. Bob. Um, Is that his name? Yeah, oh. I remember it. Uh, Disney Vacation Club, that's where you find out um, all of the resorts and the different holiday destinations that Disney do. And it's basically a timeshare. It's very, very, very expensive. Yeah, very, very expensive. I'm not going to go into details of it. However, to get you to go and do a tour of the um, sort of hotels they have that you can buy, um, they offer you, when we were there, uh, $50 gift cards and two fast passes. Yep. That is something we didn't realise until we were speaking to the man and he said, two hours of your day, we can do it tomorrow. We'll pick you up, we'll drop you off. Exactly, and, they, it's, uh, and just meet at the front of the park, there'll be someone there with your name to pick you up in a van, take you to which resort was it? Was it? Polynesian. Polynesian. And then after your talk, you get your gift card, um, your fast passes. fast passes, and a little goodie bag, and you get taken back to wherever you want to go. Whichever park you want to go to, it doesn't have to go back to the same park, anywhere you want to go. Amazing. Like, when we went there, we were like, oh, we, like, didn't even cross our minds. And obviously, when we get, you go in there and they tell you all about it, you're like, this is amazing! But obviously, we have it's so expensive. It's so expensive, it's but the stuff that you can get from it, it's really good, it's and it is only a couple of hours. Yeah. yeah, you might as well do it for the money, especially like to get fifty dollars. I think at the minute I know I saw someone on Twitter said they did it and they got a hundred dollars. So depending on what they're offering at the time, but obviously for a couple of hours of your time you get money. So my gosh, you exactly. get paid. Who cares? A couple of hours just chilling out you from get, all the rides. Yeah, and you get we got a free coke as well, and yeah, it was just do it. No. Tip number seven. Seven. A tip that I think that most fellow YouTubers that I know of do is on your first full day in the park is go for an early breakfast, usually a character meet. We did Crystal, Crystal Palace. Palace on our first day. 
And so we were, luckily for us, it was extra magic hour, so we were in the park a bit earlier. We went to Chris Palace, had a great breakfast, and then we spent our most of the morning in the park. Yep. And then in the afternoon, we got in a taxi from a hotel and went to Publix, which is basically a grocery store. The reason I suggest you do this is because we went to Publix and we bought food for the entirety of our trip. We had the Disney dining plan, so we were fine in that sense. We had lunch and dinner and snacks sorted. But breakfast-wise, we don't eat that much breakfast. A breakfast buffet every so often. A breakfast buffet every so often was nice. Like the Crystal Palace was good yeah. and Chef Mickey's was good, but we weren't too fussed about breakfast buffets. So we went to Publix. We got some plastic spoons, plastic bowls, and about four boxes of cereal, along with other mm. snacks like M and M's. Lucky charms. <laughs> Lucky charms. Yeah. And it's also quite nice because it obviously meant that you could just literally wake up, have your breakfast, get ready, and go, as opposed to being like waking up, getting ready, be hungry and then go to a park with the intention of getting breakfast. Yeah, so recommendation, just to over recap on that tip, go to have an early breakfast on your first morning in the park and then spend the morning and some of the afternoon in the park and then go and buy breakfast from a grocery store to pay for the rest of your holiday. Exactly. Save yourself some money, trust me, and time. Uh, and it works, it really it does, does work. work. Yeah. Tip number eight, make sure you hang out on Main Street. Yes, we did do this. We did not do it. We did it very, very quickly, and we saw a few shows, but there's so much to see on Main Street. There's, I think, one of the reasons we were there was character me. Yeah. Um, then we had the Barbershop Quartet. We didn't ever see the Barbershop Quartet. No. Which we wanted to see. I mean, it's just, because I think people are so sort of, I need to get to the, the castle, I need to then go this way, I need to go into that land. But Main Street has so, you've got the Emporium, you've got all the sweet shops, you've got all the different things like that. And I think we actually took a bus ride down yeah. Main Street um, on one of our one of our vlogs. We we yeah. literally walked into the park and it was there, honking his horn saying, who wants to come for a ride? And we were like... Literally just drove up, this, up Main Street to the castle, literally on the, on the bus for approximately a minute. But, I mean, it was a, it was an experience that, you yeah. know, it was quite nice. But definitely do make, just, just hang out, even if it's just you yeah, give yourself an hour. Down. Uh, on the way back from Tomorrowland or Adventureland, whatever, just to look in the shops and... And not just for a parade either, there's so much to see other than just the parades. Yeah. And you get to see other stuff, I'm sure other stuff happens that we didn't even know. And they don't timetable in the things like the barbershop quartet or the other things, it's literally just to, it happens when it happens. Exactly. And it's only because we like, you know, we were so dead set on doing certain rides in certain parks, we didn't even cross our, didn't even cross our minds to go to Main Street. But now looking back, I'm thinking, next time we go, we need to hang out. Just literally, I'm thinking, go to Starbucks, get a, an iced coffee, just sit on the pavement and just watch the world go by and enjoy the surroundings. Yeah. And really one of nice. the best things about, about Main Street is, let's say you just had a long day in Adventureland, the sun's really down on you, you can just dip into a shop that has air conditioning and dip out of a shop, dip into one, dip out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> they are beautiful for that. Air conditioning is great in Florida. Yeah. Tip number nine. Tip random tip. It's something that we experienced and just thought if you ever are in the situation it might be useful. It would be good to know. Yes. So this tip is bring four towels with you to water parks. You might think why That's are there two of you? That's a bit excessive. Yeah when I say four towels I mean two each. <laughs> Not four each. Two each. Um, so yeah for us I would say bring four towels. And yeah you might be like what for? Why? And the reason I say this is because when we went to Blizzard Beach it was a miserable day. It started out nice and sunny. We thought this is a great day to go to a water park. And then Florida being Florida, it rained. It rained. It rained, it rained, it rained. It rained literally for about three or four hours that we were there. Yeah. It was horrible. But the weather was, it was warm enough to stay in the park and we were in a water park and so if it's rained on then so be it. But it wasn't very nice. And the mistake we made was we brought one towel each, we put them on our sunbed, there was no space under any shelter for us for the sunbed, so we literally just threw our towels in any old sunbed, put all our belongings, thankfully, in a locker, which you have to pay for, annoying, <laughs> um, and we went on our merry way. We were in a nice queue, it chucked it down with rain, we were in the top of the queue and we were like, well, we're not getting off now, we might as well just stay and do the ride and then go back to our stuff. Obviously, we went down our slide, had a jolly old time, went to our sunbed, towels were drenched through, literally drenched through. 
And also, just so you know, obviously you have to pay for lockers in water parks, which is cheeky. And also, if you need a new towel, you have to pay for it. And so obviously, we are in our swim swimwear. Our clothes are in the locker dry, thank God, but our towels are dripping wet. How are you supposed to get dry? The tip basically is bring two towels each and put two towels in your locker, preferably your ones. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can also get towels from Disney property resorts. Yeah. You have to obviously be staying in Disney Resort for this really to work, but you can take towels from the resort to water parks or the pool, wherever you are, with you. So lay them on your sunbed so you can reserve your sunbed. If it doesn't rain, great. If it does rain, you have two towels in a locker for worst case scenarios. Yeah. A very long-winded tip, a very random tip that doesn't reply to everyone. A very but just in case. <laughs> still on the surface kind of tip. We're still annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> tip ten. Tip one. ten. Number ten. Film your trip. Now that may, you know, you might be watching this going, no. I don't want to film. I don't want to film it. I don't. I don't. I'm not comfortable in front of people holding a camera up. Well, it doesn't matter. If it's not that you don't have to film it for YouTube, but just make sure there is some... You record it. Yeah, you record it for your own things, just to remind yourself how amazing your holiday was. You don't have to put it on any social media at all. Literally just film it. You know, film clips of it, film anything on a video camera, on your phone, anything. Just film your trip. Anything that happens that you think you're about to remember meeting a character, yeah. film it. Yeah. Because you will forget these things. You have photographs, but it's just not the same. So we do recommend filming it. And also, just as an extra add-on tip, is if you do film it, make sure you... I say you, Sean did it all. <laughs> make sure every evening, oh, yes. take the footage that you filmed and put it on some sort of hard drive. Just because memory cards can get corrupted. I was very, very regimental. We just recommend, if you can, find a way to transfer any information that you have on a memory card onto another drive. Just because... If you lose the footage, that's a nightmare. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just a just a little tip, but just a, you know, just record your trip in any way you can. Right. That is it. That's our top ten tips for Disney. Indeed. We hope you've enjoyed them. Let us know if you have. Have any other tips that you think we should know about, or any tips that we've just told you that you think we can improve on, or that you will take with you when you go on your next Disney trip. We'd love to know. Yes. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. Indeed. <laughs> and we will we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.